good morning to all on behalf of all india confederation of the blind she samajh jayegi the i welcome you all for the workshop on the leadership skills and financial management and this workshop is now exclusively organized for the aicb affiliates in southern part of india now we have five organization uh, who are going to take part in this two day workshop so we are plan to uh, we are planning this workshop for two days that is on 28 21st and 28th so basically we have uh, five business sessions which comprises of uh, 15 <laughs> lectures covering various aspects which calls uh, uh, sir and anuja sir will uh, will be briefing you in detail patient i want to give before uh, i request our secretary general to give uh, the uh, opening remarks so we have inauguration session up to 11 o'clock after that we have tea break for 15 minutes that is from 11 to 11:50 then we will join at 11:15 after that we have lunch break at 12:45 to 1:45 then we can join then we have two more business session so and then we will finish the session by 5 o'clock so i kindly request all of you to remain for the whole day and benefit out of this Uh, lectures uh, without taking much time uh, i would like to request our secretary general mr jl call sir to give the opening remarks for this workshop so over to you sir thank you very much muthu selvi ji my dear colleagues in uh, south indian states our president professor anil kumar aneja ji and uh, ashpriya ji who is supporting the program first of all our office bearers our president and vice president who have been working hard for last two days to make this workshop a success without their support it would have not been possible to conduct such workshop uh, that to online i am thankful to all the affiliated organizations in uh, south india who have joined who have accepted our request to join the workshop and to benefit from it we should not forget that such workshops does not mean that we know more and you know less but definitely uh, such workshops help us to know something and to uh, uh, to to know from each other even not only from the speakers how they have developed their organization my dear friends miss i am muthu selvi who is now vice president of the organization is an example before you it was 2008 when she attended one such workshop and today you can see she is working as a leader as one of the uh, most efficient office bearers uh, of our organization she is invited by different organizations to deliver lectures here and there what does it mean it means that she tried in 2008 to learn something uh, which we wanted to provide her 
and later on she also attended one international conference international workshop uh, which was organized by some in international pakistan, in pakistan abu pakistan 2010 nahi nahi abu pakistan nahi tha ट हियर they are not leaders they too are leaders but if they will uh, learn more through uh, sharing the experiences among themselves and through the experiences of uh, uh, speakers definitely it will help them to uh to 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 make themselves more useful for the society my dear friends all of you know that i am not a speaker you have many speakers here and uh, they will let you know what we are going to do during two days uh today and 28th march but my request is that you should take it seriously uh, so that you could be benefited you could you could be benefited uh, by all possible ways and means i with these words stop and uh, request our president uh, to say more things uh, uh, about the workshop and uh, about the work being done by our organizations uh, here and there thank you very much thank you sir we are really blessed by your presence it was great opportunity listening to you and in my experience i would say aicb is an organization where one can learn and work simultaneously this is what i have i have been experiencing uh, uh, in the organization so i i really hope and uh, assure you sir like me many other leaders will also emerge and work with aicb in future uh, thank you sir now i request uh, let's introduce the participants one by one so that uh, let's get to know each other so let's go in, in alphabetical order so we will begin from uh, csgad college students and graduates association of the blind uh, based in chennai i'm very thankful to acb being a part of uh, cec member of acb i would like to say that uh, this is a wonderful session i, I will be it, it will be so <clears throat> uh, i just want to share a few things about uh, Uh, myself the, the college students and graduate association of the blind is one of the organization in tamil nadu having a wonderful uh, uh doing ha- having a wonderful organization doing a service for the society so it is also a part of uh, uh, in this workshop thank you so much thank you nagarajan next raja arangaraja dr arangaraja good morning all of you yeah uh thank you uh, mrs muthu chelvi uh, giving a opportunity for this uh, uh, leadership program and i'm uh, uh, dr aranga raja uh, uh, in charge president uh, college students and graduate association you know about uh, you know about our uh, association uh, so very thank uh, thank you for uh, uh, this opportunity uh, to the all india confederation of the blind thank you thank you raja uh, anuja sir uh, with your permission can i just say a few words um he is the person who has been uh, conducting all the protests very actively from his young days 
and he has been uh, like uh, if if visually if media means raja so all the medias knows about him so whenever there is an issue he immediately addresses to uh, media so he is seen as a media face of visually impaired in in tamil nadu thank you okay. good morning okay. all good morning all this is swati from tirushirappalli tamil nadu uh, i am a advocate um, i would like to thank csa uh, cs uh, gab and uh, muthuselvi ma'am to give this opportunity to attend this uh, wonderful uh, workshop after seeing this brochure i came to know this will be very interesting and very informative and uh, i will learn many things from this workshop thanks for giving this opportunity to me thank you so swati you should you should first start fighting our cases in tamil nadu now ah. you see you are an advocate yes sir yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. yeah. Okay. yeah. okay Thank you, Swati. Uh, next, we move Thank on to Alagareka. Good morning, all of you. Uh, I am Alagareka, college students from <coughs> Chennai. Thank you, opportunity in workshop. Thank you. Thank you, Alagareka. Can we have uh, Soyambu Rajas? Okay. Uh, I am Soyambu Rajas from Kanyakumari. I am very happy to join this, uh, such kind of uh, workshop. Now shall we move on to uh, Development Welfare Association of the Blind? Yeah, please don't be yeah. fast. Okay. Yes, my name is Pooja Karnati. Good morning to all of you, Alaya sir and Muthu Selvi ma'am. Okay. I am the secretary of uh, Development and Welfare Association of the Blind. I am a teacher working in Surya Pet. I think you could all remember me. I was worked as a CC member from South Zone uh, between the years 2012 to 16, I think. After conducting the election in 2016 in Hyderabad. I uh, didn't join in the ACB CC. Uh, this is my brief introduction. Now I am working as a teacher in Surya Pet. I will teach social studies. Uh, thanks to all uh, the uh, president and uh, other members of the ACB, uh, including Councillor, for giving me this opportunity to join in the uh, present workshop. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Amin Nair uh, from uh, Developmental Education of the Blind, and he is also an uh, Hello, good morning, everybody. This is uh, Habib from Kerala. Right now, I'm at Malappuram. I'm an assistant professor of English at Faru College, Calicut, affiliated to the University of Calicut. I'm uh, a vice president of Kerala Federation of the Blind, and you all know it's one of the oldest organizations of the visually impaired in India. We have been doing. Uh, our activism for the last 50 years and we have got all sort of projects <clears throat> from schools to the refugee homes and uh, offering our service in various uh, uh, fields to people of <clears throat> all kinds to visually impaired and disabled <clears throat> of all kinds so uh, in fact i look forward to this workshop uh, uh, very positively hope that this will enrich all of us in multiple ways at the outset let me thank uh, Dr. Anuja Sir, Kaulji, and all others for organizing this wonderful workshop. Thank you. Thank you, Abhi Sir. Uh, can we have uh, Abu Bakar Sir? Good morning to all. I am Abu Bakar CK, present the general secretary of Kerala Federation of the Blind. Mr. Abhi, one of our colleagues, has told uh, something about our uh, our federation. For the last 53 years, Kerala Federation of the Blind has been working in Kerala, and uh, Federation is having a good network in this term. Uh, we have Taluk Committee, we have uh, City Committee, we have uh, different forums, and State Committee. More than uh, 43. Taluk, 43 taluk committees are there, and 14 district committees, and five forums are working now. So, for the last uh, 53 years, we have done uh, much in the welfare of the visually impaired in the state, and uh, we are our, our federation is one of the strong affiliate of all in the confederation of the blind. Thank you. Andra. Good morning, man. Uh, we have a joining uh, along with my my friend uh, Swami Nair. Okay. 
and uh, very thankful to you ma'am uh, i i like uh, very interesting topic and this kind of program and you sir also just my thank you sir i should continue with kerala federation uh, habib uh, p abubakar next okay uh, mr k satyasilan ji I, I am Satish Ilan uh, and retired headmaster from uh, uh, Government School for the Blind and now working as a lecturer in the training center for the teachers of the visually impaired. Uh, my specific area is uh, that of course, uh, uh, specific interest is uh, in uh, free software uh, uh, development and we have already developed uh, uh, softwares which would help the uh, blind persons to read and write in a very fast manner the sighted production of text so i hope uh, this uh, workshop also will consider the wealth creation of uh, possibilities provided by the free software uh, side and uh, uh, hope uh, to listen to you all uh, very uh, diligently or uh, interestingly okay thank you very much thank you, thank you. next M- mr raju george ji i am raju george i am um the district president of uh, kerala mm-hmm. federation of the blind in uh, district ernakulam i am working as a teacher in social science i am also a graduate in law also thank you thanks mr george we also expect good advocacy work from you you also yes, graduate yes. in law dr ne- neela morning everyone ah, good morning i am neela i am working as administrative officer at Ke- kerala federation of the blind at the headquarters headquarters at tiruvannapuram thank you for this opportunity uh, to learn thank about you. leadership skills thank you thanks good morning to all my name is shrishwari i am the general secretary of viva thank you everybody good morning good morning we we i am from chennai secretary of samshad the viva thank you I am Mrs. Maria Rukta, and I'm a VC member of uh, Viva. Thank you, Alakum. Uh, Tamit Chalvi, from Chennai, Viva, Mumbai. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, I'm Sudhir Reddy. I'm from Hyderabad, and I'm working uh, as an assistant manager in Kendra Bank. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm also a law graduate. and uh, thank you uh, ma'am sirs and sirs for uh, conducting this meeting uh, this would really help us in developing our leadership skills thank you uh, shamla good morning everybody this is shamla from chennai uh, i am working as uh, in ministerial service in the department of employment and training as well as now i am representing tab thank you acb for uh, creating this opportunity in virtual platform thank you ma'am thank you sir thank you ma'am. i am suganya from chennai um thank you for giving me this opportunity to be a part of this workshop i hope this will be more beneficial for all of us thank you ka thank you very good morning one and all and i am yuvraj from chennai now i am working as a computer instructor in tab tamil nadu association of the blind i am looking forward to learn something from this meeting thank you thank you gauri i am from chennai i i have to learn some uh, meeting and a lot a very lot ma'am it's very useful for me and uh, i'm waiting to learn something ma'am thank you thank you so much gauri uh, this will uh, um, conclude the introduction session uh, very good morning to all of your friends and a warm welcome to this uh, two day uh, training workshop on leadership and financial management uh, we have uh, affiliates our affiliates in south india five of which are represented in this workshop and five participants from each of the affiliates uh, we are really grateful to you for sparing time we know that uh, it's not easy to spare time on sunday there's the only day one gets in a week most of you are employed it seems so it's not easy that's only day in a week one gets and to spare so much time <clears throat> for this workshop 
which in turn also means sparing time for your organization because you are representing your organizations respective organizations we are very really thankful to you for that for making this activity possible at this stage friends it has been quite some time i also of course before i go further welcome ms madhu singhar who has just left i think um uh, the managing trustee of mithil jyoti trust who will be with us in the next session and she will be speaking to us she had joined us for the inauguration session also and i think she has just left to my knowledge but uh, we welcome her and thank her for being present in this session um it has been quite for quite some time that uh, we have been wanting to hold a pan south indian activity we have been having activities uh in various states individual independent activities in tamil nadu in kerala uh but uh for some time now we used to have a yeah for some time now we are not been able to have activities for the on our uh, madhu has joined now madhu welcome i just was mentioning that uh, we welcome you uh, uh to join in the inaugural session and we look forward to hearing you in the next session thank you very much for joining uh yes so uh and yet we used to have many of activities but for some time we haven't had for various reasons and uh, um we were planning this and as we are planning this last year we had this pandemic which stopped virtually all activities across the world or should i amend that statement to say which compelled us to take a different mode of adopt a different mode of activities which many found difficult in the beginning but everybody is welcome everybody is comfortable now on the online mode many people are comfortable personally i feel this online mode is very conducive very helpful for the visually impaired and for organizational growth and training in many ways one such example is the workshop that we are having for next two days today and next sunday we chose sundays because we were told by the participants informally that it may not be possible for many participants to take leave and therefore they would prefer a sunday rather than taking a leave and having the workshop on two consecutive days and it is a full day workshop because you may record when there are offline workshops those are also full day workshops it's not that people don't attend them for the entire day they attend them for the entire day so if offline workshops can be attended for the entire day which also it was tavern and other things so the online workshops can also be attended for the entire day it's much more convenient you are sitting in the comfort of your home you can have a break in between we have tried to replicate the entire offline experience of workshop to the possible extent in the online mode and we try to do that to begin with for instance we had a poster as we put in the offline workshops a banner kind of thing which mentions the organizers and the sponsors which we do have in the offline we also introduce the element of introduction for participants which we could have skipped because online is not so easy to manage technically but we are thankful to muthu and ashwarya who are giving us a technical support and you'd hear their names and voices very often in the workshop they are giving us a technical support and then they have been so good in managing this activity or so of introduction of participants we are able to attend this workshop sitting in our own homes without traveling wasting time on travel spending time on travel uh, so there are many advantages i was reading somewhere that earlier people were resistant to the online mode and work from home mode but now people are preferring these because and because of this also with a very limited budget we are able not only to have affiliates from across the uh, south india <coughs> five affiliates <coughs> sorry got a bit of bathroom don't mind that and uh, you need to get used to my voice uh, because you will be hearing this in the next session also uh, and of course throughout the day perhaps off and on so um just give me a second so, uh uh we are not only to have being able to have participants from various parts of south india we also have speakers from across the country 
uh, if I may tell you, in this workshop, we have, as you may have seen the program, we have one, two, three, four, five, five business sessions and a group work. And a total of 12 speakers from across the country. We have speakers from Delhi, speakers from uh, Tamil Nadu, speakers from uh, Karnataka, Bangalore. We have speakers from Gujarat, uh, and so on and so forth. And I think uh, we know this Puthu in uh, Mumbai. Where is he based? PCS, no. Chennai. Uh, Chennai. So he's also from Tamil Nadu. OK. So we have speakers and across various spectrums. So as Mr. Korn was mentioning, it is not that we don't know. Of course, all of you are leaders in a way. You have set up organizations. You have been a part of the office bearers or executive members, active members. I'm, I assume that is the case because that was a condition for participating in this workshop. And there was a reason for that requirement, which I'll come to very soon. Uh, so uh, there was, you are not leaders, you are worked, you, are, uh, you have the experience. And this is the point. As Mr. Cord said, we are not here to, we are not here to say something which you don't know. We all know many things, but things need to be refreshed, things need to be shared, things need to be updated. It is that process of sharing and updating that we are engaged in as we've been here. When important leaders of organizations are working in mainstream and doing very good work, work being as role models, or 25 of you who are leaders in your own organization working with the grassroots, you won't be able to tell us the ground situation, what is happening, what is required, how should we should go about. So please treat this workshop more as a participatory process, more as a dialogue, than as a speaking and learning exercise that somebody's speaking and we are listening. It's not just listening. The success of this workshop, we would measure in two ways, two or three ways. One, the extent to which you will be able to participate in the workshop. We'll give you opportunities. We requested all the speakers to give five to 10 minutes for asking questions. So the space has been provided. We have so structured the lectures. We have not crowded many sessions. Uh, we kept two speakers in the first day, at least today in every session, there were only two speakers. So that there's more space for you to uh, uh, participate. In fact, at, apart from one session, the last session, that is the business session five, in every other session, there are two speakers only. So that is the idea, that you should be able to participate, have your own space, not just rush presentation after presentation and you don't have time to ask. And we keep telling you, no, no, we are running short of time. We don't want to do that, right? We want to give you time. So participation is important. You should ask and ask things which you think are practical, which you think you would like to know for the smooth functioning and development of the organizations. The second is, the plan of action which you prepare. On the second day of the workshop, that is on 28th, up to lunch, we would divide you into groups. And groups will not be made heterogeneous, they'll be homogeneous in the sense that each organization will form its own groups and put you in the rooms here online. It's not that you have to go to your organization, we we'll create rooms online. We can do construction also online. We can create room, drawing rooms, corridors, whatever you want to do. Everything can be done on Zoom. So we will create online rooms, five rooms we'll create. We'll put you into them, ask you to plan what you want to do further in six months to one year in, any, in some areas, various areas, but activities, realistically. And realistically, I'm saying because we are going to follow up those plans. This is a requirement of our funding agency through whom the workshop is being conducted, Danny Session Day of the Blind. They are our sponsors for this workshop. Uh, and one of their requirements is that uh, we should be able to bring about some change in the functioning of the organization, some visible change, some little change. As I said, 
your own working ishwari and muthu whenever this 5 minutes left let me know yes sir to in 5 minutes to in have na okay yeah, yeah yes sir sure okay okay yeah so because as you know i am a teacher and i have this habit of going on and difficult to stop this is what we are trained to do for our life and i believe hold both so do stop me five minutes before give me an indication and then i will wait up after that yes 47 so 47 now so another 10 minutes i take and then two three minutes of wait yes so this is one of our requirements of our funding agency the dennis society of blind who are our sponsors and we acknowledge them also in the poster that we put up for the workshop online <clears throat> and um, so we we will request you to prepare a plan of action what you want to do we we'll also see where we can support you in that activity if there's any way we can support you in that activity or what your plan small support maybe but something which you bring out some change and uh and we'll follow up that so the extent to which you will be able to prepare that plan and the extent to which you will be able to you will be able to implement that plan will also measure the success of this workshop there is no use if we have this workshop and still continue things continue the same way in your organizations then what difference have have we made you know and we have taken so much of your time and yet uh, you no difference has been made in any organization now i am not saying that all the five organizations i didn't get in the situation but even if one or two organizations move forward if it some change able to do something learning from this and implementing with our support we try to support whatever way possible in terms of advice consultancy strategies whatever is possible within our means and the resources uh, we will try to do that and resources doesn't mean just financial resources it means many other things so these would be the three indicators for the success of this workshop and we all we we, we request that uh, all of you would be able to contribute to this goal of making the workshop successful um um there are strategic issues regarding this workshop which have been already conveyed to you for the guidance as i said we have muthu and ashwari are giving us tech support they their the task is very very difficult because being vigilant every minute on the screen is not easy but they have kindly agreed to help us and uh, i would say that one important the time is very limited i want to say a lot as per organization development and organization leadership is concerned um i would only like to say one thing at this stage i now will come back to you because the second presentation of the next session is also mine so i continue that discourse uh two points i want to make at this time one is that the very fact that you chose to set up an organization of the blind because we strongly believe in the culture of the organization of the blind we we it's a committed philosophy of aic and there's no compromise in that i mean we we strongly believe that we have to do everything ourselves nothing for us without us uh and uh, that is a strong philosophy of aic as you know and we are happy that that is a strong philosophy of our affiliates who are the backbone of aic i always say that i have said this for many years uh that we aacb is nothing without our affiliates we you are our back you are our bridges in the states you are our bridges to the grassroots we do some project that's different at our own level also cbr projects etc and we do projects for our headquarter but your projects also reflect our work the way they are run if it's run then it's aacb affiliate if it's not run, run properly again the negativity comes to aacb also because you are our affiliate so we gain and lose both ways so our affiliates our backbone they are our strength so is called and we it, it may be a, uh, it, it 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 there may be situations when maybe certain information certain resources certain strategies may not be as much known uh, working in states uh, because obviously at the center never money is more exposed while in more in touch with government policies while in more in touch with uh, the departments international bodies and international documents and so on and so forth so the point i'm trying to make is it is a sharing thing and sharing only so that we can become strong 
to our affiliates. Don't think we are doing this workshop for the affiliates. No, we are doing for ourselves. Ourselves, because you all are us, the affiliates are us. No, this fact should never be forgotten by anyone that our affiliates are AICB. So you are AICB. Don't think you are affiliates and we are AICB. No, the distinction doesn't exist. You are AICB. All of you are members of AICB, part of AICB. Remember that. That's very important. So in that context, I was saying that choosing to set up an organization, developing it, being able to get whatever funding you have got, little or more. Some organizations are very strong. Some organizations are, are, still, are struggling to get more resources. But in both the cases, leadership qualities are there. They are exhibited. They are demonstrated. Just one kind of leadership. And the fact that there is acceptability of yours in your organization and you're able to become the leaders of the organization uh, or representatives. Uh, uh, please mute, Ashwarya. Um, that is yeah, the, your acceptability organization, the fact that you have been chosen as office bearers, executive members, and the fact that you've been chosen as to represent the organization. <clears throat> that is uh, one... That is one kind of acceptability as a leader. And we think we become leader. But the first thing that you should remember is that being a leader, leader is a continuous process. It is not something leader. No. Leadership is a process. It is not the end. It is a road. It's a responsibility. It's a task. Many people can say we have become leaders. No, you can never become leaders. Because it's an ongoing process. It's not that you can end anywhere. So, therefore, it's important that you keep developing yourself as a leader. That will continue to maintain. Otherwise, next in action, and then some of us may be out if we don't keep developing ourselves. Uh, because people are vigilant. People want performance. People want change. People want visible work. This is a new norm. This is a new culture. We cannot. Words may work for some time, but they don't work beyond that. So we need to keep developing, applying new strategies, new skills, trying to do new things for organization. Not everything is money intensive. It's often fed if there's no money, things can't be done. No, I don't agree with that. Many things can be done without money in an organization. And also this online this technology, that's why I'm a great supporter of this. This online technology has given us a number of possibilities uh, to do things at very low cost. If we had, for instance, got all of you together, hired a venue somewhere in one of the states, it would cost us much more than it's costing to have this workshop now. So cost can be cut down through technology. And also, Please remember that nobody will come to come and give resources in the beginning. Only when they see your work, the people will come forward. The ICB began with 300 rupees, which are put together by the 10 founding members, perhaps, or maybe mostly by Mr. Kaur and Mr. Mittad, and so perhaps some other, I don't know. But 300 rupees was the amount, and 10 members. Uh, that was the ICB. It began in Half the room, not even the full room, half the room, because Mr. Korn used half of his room where he was living in modern town uh, at that time to run the office from there. And he used to sit on his bed and keep the, the uh, typewriter. Uh, yes. He used to sit on his bed and keep the typewriter on his trunk so that he could type. That was the ICB at one time. Today, what we have, we know, you know. What we are, you know. We don't have to say 25 efforts across the country. Nearly 20 projects. Countrywide intervention in many states. Members of ABU, members of WBU, members of important committees of the country. This has not happened overnight. This has not been gifted to ICB. This will not be gifted to any organization. You have to earn it as we have worked hard. All of us have to work hard to earn this, to get this. And for that, as it has been in the case of AICP, leadership has been important. The kind of presidents, the kind of general secretaries we have had, the kind of mentors we have had, the kind of volunteers we have had, the kind of uh, CEC members we have had. Everybody has contributed, not one person. 
no organization can be seen should be seen can be seen to be one person's effort no everybody contributes in different ways today for instance we are having this activity online at the same time another activity is going on in acb offline there is a personality development workshop two days going on for our trainees which is going on in acb premises right at same time yesterday I was there to give a lecture in fact in that uh, so things are so some people are looking after there some are looking after here is a joint effort to our development of it it is that collectiveness you need to ensure and develop as a leader those of you who are leaving maybe may may may, may do went to know that we have we have a record of each participant because the meeting is been recorded zoom gives us a record of each participant who has left when who has been there for how long and so on and so forth and that record would be available we will give you a certificate for attending this workshop if we feel that you have attended more than 85% or 90% of sessions but if you are not done that then it will be difficult and that record we can easily trace this is this is the advantage of online uh, online uh, technology that we don't have to ask anyone to sign anywhere so all automatically been done when you are leaving and when you are coming in everything is being recorded how many minutes how many seconds you are there everything is there we can get the data what you are saying so please continue to stay through the workshop because we may find difficult to give you the certificate in case we do not see 85 to 90% attendance uh, at least you know uh, of yours so the point i'm trying to say is that no organization should be seen to be one person's effort it is a connect and your first role as a leader is to develop that trust and connectiveness that you should be able to take people together involve everyone in the activities like butu and i are doing this activity mr kaur is not present it's not necessary for secretary general president i am not present on the acb right now we all have to work work together with sharing information trust and developing a spirit of connectedness the second point i wanted to make which i touch very briefly and i'll continue maybe later because I, we want to give you 15 minutes for your tea um we wish we could send tea to your home but that is not so far possible technology does enable that but we will work it out sometime later maybe is that please move forward from an activity approach based approach to a strategy based approach approach in your organization development that right now most of us talk about activities we have done this we have conducted this activity on this day and that activity on that day that is a good thing that's still a sporadic unplanned activity something comes you say oh this day is coming so we will do this activity we want this much money from x or y or z that is that is one way but we need to move forward from there to a point in organizations in our organization where everything is strategy based you plan your activities in the beginning of the year you plan your budget then you get you you get to and budget resources when we talk about it is not just money who is going to do which experts you will call this workshop you'll be surprised you've seen the online and we are not gone anywhere it's taken more than 2 months for us to work on this workshop day and night consultation there are training 2 months we have worked it's not easy activity a lot of time goes into these things so become a strategy based leader from an activity based leader i'm sure in the next session uh, we have a very eminent speaker she will talk more about organization development and leadership and after that i when i get my opportunity i will also talk about it but for now i welcome you once again to this uh, two day training workshop on leadership and financial management i thank all those who have made this workshop possible aicb gab uh, our, our affiliates our vice president mr silvi ashwarya who has been constantly providing and not just today on the last two months she has been providing us a lot of assistance and support uh, and all others who have helped us in uh, making this day possible we do i do request you to keep attending all sessions actively participate enjoy and implement whatever we commit whatever we share or commit in this workshop with these words i declare this workshop now formally open and after the break which mr sen will announce we will then go into the first business session thank you very much